Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your name? Lakshman Vyas, sir. Lakshman. Lakshman, can I have your resume? Yes, sir. Okay, Lakshman. So, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, very good afternoon, sir. I am V. Lakshman Vyas. I recently passed out graduate from uh, Gitanjali College of Engineering and Technology under Computer Science Engineering Stream. Sir, my technical expertise includes uh, proficiency in uh, HTML, CSS, uh, PHP, MySQL, which have contributed to projects such as uh, image search and 3D visualization and online exam timetable. And I have completed courses in Java and Basic of Python. In Java, I have completed Oracle Java Fundamentals and in Python, I have completed uh, university, uh, Python Basics under University of Michigan. Coming to my extracurricular activities, I have secured uh, two silver medals in CBC South Zone National Taekwondo Championship and the holding black belt one in Taekwondo. Okay, Lakshman. Yes. So, let's, we can go to the directly to the concepts. Yes, sir. Okay, so what is subquery? Subquery is defined as uh, writing a query with another, another query is defined as subquery. So, what are the types? The types of subquery are uh, single row subquery and multi row subquery. Okay, so what are the SQL commands we have? The, there are uh, five types of SQL commands uh, which are uh, DDL, data definition language, DML, uh, data manipulation language, DCL, data control language, TCL, transaction control language, and DQL, data query language. Okay, can you explain about the uh, every command? Yes, sir, uh, coming to uh, DDL. DDL is defined as data definition language which is used and the commands which we use in data definition languages create, uh, alter, truncate, drop which is used to uh, crea create the structure uh, structures of the tables and uh, we need to name the tables. Coming to DML which is data manipulation language which is used to insert which the commands are uh, insert, uh, delete, update which is used to insert the da data and manipulate the data. Coming to DCL it is a data control language in which uh, we use a uh, com commit uh, role. Transact uh, in transaction control language, we use a uh, commit uh, rollback. In the, uh, TQL, uh, we use a uh, select uh, where having. That's it. Okay. So, can you clarify that? What are the comments? It will be comes under the DCL and DTL. DCL. Uh, we, the commands are uh, save point, save point. Uh, In the DTL or TCL, we can get that. Commit is save point uh, and roll back. Rollback. And DCL comes under the grant and revoke. Grant and revoke. Okay. And the DQL commands are nothing but for searching the data source. Yes. Okay. So, what are the acid properties? The acid properties are uh, atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability. Okay. Can you explain me? What is that one? Acid properties. Acid properties, atomicity, it is used. Atomicity. Okay, fine. So, what is aliasing? Aliasing is defined as uh, a table name, uh, giving a table name uh, to another name. Like, uh, if we give, if we uh, take this table name uh, as an aliasing name. Okay. So, what is the functions in the grouping statements? What are the functions? Functions uh, are functions is used to return a value. Functions uh, in grouping statements uh, which is used for autom autonomous tra transactions. There are uh, two types of functions, uh, single row function and multi row function. I am asking about the only grouping functions. Grouping functions are multi multi row functions, ag aggregate functions like uh, sum, yeah. average, uh, minimum, maximum and count. Okay. So what is join? Join it is used to join the join two or more tables. Okay. What are the types of the joins we have? The types of the joins are uh, equi-join, outer join, natural join, uh, left outer join, uh, right outer join, uh, cross join. Okay, so what is constraint? Constraint it is used to give the restrictions to the command. Okay, what is the difference between uh, RDBMS and DBMS? DBMS it is defined as database management system uh, which is used to 
So the data in the form of file format. RDFMS is defined as relational database management system, which is used to store the data in the form of relational format or tabular format. DBMS, uh, we see that there will be uh, manipulation. Of, there will be only internal data structure, and in RDFMS we have properties like ASIC properties. In, D, in DBMS, uh, we don't. We use a file management system and in RDBMS we use a SQL language and uh, there will be other kind of RDBMS like MySQL, Oracle and uh, NoSQL and other data types. Data okay, what is the difference between uh, what is processor and what is stored processor? Processor is defined as uh, the procedure which, which is in which we write uh, SQL queries and uh, we named as we named as a procedure we, which we call uh, in which we call in functions stored procedure uh, the procedure which we stored in which have and which will write our SQL queries and uh, we we stored in the form. So what are the set operators? There are set operators which are used to retrieve the data from multiple tables. If the, if the tables have the same data type, then we, we can easily retrieve it. The, there are four types of set operators. Union, union or intersect, minus. Okay, Lakshman. Let's, so you need to improve some skills. Okay? Yes, okay, while coming on next mock. So you need to focus on some of the processors and the functions and the indexes. Yes. Okay. So make sure to prepare. Okay. So that's all about it. Okay.